in the studio with us. It's great to have David Lekucha. Rudisha, welcome. So good to see you, Thank you. here on Sunday Live. And David, uh, Sebastian Coe, uh, a former world record holder for your race, um, said uh, at the Olympics, Bolt was good, Rudisha was magnificent. Now, you amazed Kenyans and made us so proud as you took to the, the you know, you took the stage, you took the limelight, you won the race. I want to know, what were you thinking just before you took off? And again, the last 100 meters, that final lap, what was going on in your head, David? Well, um, you know, in Olympic, uh, is one of the biggest sports in the world. And uh, I think that was my greatest moment, you know, to be uh, uh, to be there for the first time. I've never been in Olympic before, and to go there at uh, that level of uh, fitness already, I was the uh, the reigning champion and the world record holder, and of course I was the team captain of Kenya. So when I was in that line. Um, you know, I knew that the others were targeting me. I was the, the target. So uh, with everything that I had, I have trained well and I was confident. So I just say, let me get in there and run my race. I'm gonna do my best. These guys are after me. I'm the target, but I'm gonna do my best. That's true. <laughs> what does it feel like coming through right at the end of the race when you've made it, you've done it, you're the best in the world? Did you know you had beaten your record as you came past across the line? Well, uh, you know, um, in 800 meters especially, we rely mostly uh, with the pacemakers who set the pace for the first lap of uh, the first 600 meters, and then we just come the last uh, 200 meters. But during the championships, we just rely on ourselves. Especially, it's very difficult for me because I'm a front runner, and I do everything for myself. I pace my set, uh, my pace, and calculate every bit and every movement. So uh, the first thing that I knew that I was going to cross the 400 in about 49 flat, that was my target, and then push down the uh, back straight to 600. I wanted to destroy everybody uh, to that point and then just maintain the last lap because I knew I'll be in the service side because that year already I had already posted very first time, like to 141 twice. So I knew I was in a better shape than everybody else. So the important part was just to be confident and to give my best in the Olympics. Now, David, you make it sound so easy when you're sitting here explaining to us what you did. It was monumental. We were standing up screaming and, and rejoicing. And you are the best in the world at what you do, and yet you remain so humble. There are so many young people in Kenya and in Africa who, who don't understand how to break out of the, the challenges that they have. Is it easy to become a champion? What does it take? to achieve what you have achieved, Davis. Born, born in Kilgoris and, and, and young, 23 years old, what do you think has put you where you are today and what words of advice do you have for young people? Well, uh, nothing is easy. And I believe that, uh, uh, you know, uh, for myself, uh, I, have, I have gone f uh, very far. But uh, I can't imagine when I was starting at that age at primary school, I was young. Sometimes I was like hopeless, but at some point I knew that I have to be strong. I have to make a bold decision towards my uh, career. And you know, uh, uh, since my father was an athlete, mm -hmm. I knew that I have that talent. So the best thing was just to, to build in it and to encourage myself to work hard, to be determined and have that focus. And I think that really helped me because uh, I've gone through up and downs, injuries, disappointments. You know, in Berlin 2009, uh, I missed the final. Uh, go back to 2008, I was still in high school, thinking of uh, you know making the team to go to uh, uh, Olympics in Beijing. I missed the team because of injury. So it's through determination and focus and be patient and always have something to target, and I think that really helps. So be motivated as a young person, have a target, and maintain your focus and discipline and determination and work hard, everything is possible. 
be focused, maintain that focus, discipline, determination as well. And of course, you're a family man. That's very important. Your family is here with you today. It's amazing to see that, especially since you're quite young. Also, you've spoken about your father. And if you didn't know, David's father actually won Kenya a silver medal in 1968 at the Olympics. He was in a relay, 400 meters relay team. So it, it runs in the family, really. Um, but you are now a second generation of Kenyans who have given to this country. I'd like to know your perspective as we head into the election, David. What do you want for Kenya? What would you, what would you ask of Kenyans as we head into this election? Mentally, where should we be? Well, um, you know, uh, Kenya actually in the uh, past and the last uh, election, we had a very bad experience. And uh, as, a, as a young person, as a youth, I want to encourage my fellow youths and all Kenyans to maintain peace because peace is very uh, important, it's essential, and security is paramount. For everything to move, for everything to, de to develop in this country, for Kenya to achieve its objective, we need peace because without peace, nothing will move. And we want to see the future of our children also moving forward, that they are achieving uh, th at their best of their ability. And we need to give them peace. We need to protect, uh, you know, uh, we need to protect the, uh, their rights and, of course, uh, their security. And I think that is the major, uh, major thing. And, of course, I want to add the Kenyan that, you know, one piece that is the most important is that that come within the soul of the people. So we want the people to be together and be as a brother because where there's no peace, that means people have forgotten uh, that they belong to each other. Because if today you go around our schools, hospital, we find different people working in there, and they are working, and the service they are giving is to assist Kenyan. Mm -hmm. I am very glad, you know, if I go there, I find uh, my child is, uh, let's say I'm coming from Maasai, and we find the teachers are from Kalenjin, Kikuyu, mm -hmm. and all other tribe, and they are trying to help and assist everybody. So we, we depend on each other, and we want to be together as a nation, as one. Kenya is all of us, and that's why we love it. And sio haki yangu tu ni haki yako pia. And so let's move forward together. Yes. It's, it's a powerful message. And tomorrow, David, I know it's your birthday tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow is David Rudisha's birthday. You turn 24. Um, what do you give a, a millionaire and a world record holder on his birthday? Perhaps the greatest gift that we can give you, David, as Kenyans is to commit to peace, love, and unity. That's true. Give us a final message. Please, you can actually uh, you know, look at the camera and tell Kenyans what your final message to them is. That one over there, please. Um, uh, my final message is that uh, we want Kenya to, uh, you know, first of all, to register mm -hmm. uh, for those who have not registered so that they can uh, be part and participate in the next coming election to select the, our leaders and of course to maintain peace so that we all uh, have to achieve our goal because we also depend on uh, everyone and the peace in the country because we can't have conducive environment, we can't train without peace. So we want peace everywhere so that we can live a healthy life and uh, free and uh, you know everybody feels secu secure in whatever he is. Thank you so much for those words of wisdom. Uh, David Lekuta Rudisha, not just a star on the track, also a star in spirit. I think everybody would say that, and we really appreciate that you've joined us in studio. We hope you've Thank enjoyed you. hearing from David.